welcome to a brand new series of Farming Simulator 2017. Those of you might recognize the name of this farm right here. This map is the West Coast by Bullet Bill. It's been waiting a long time to do this map. This is a map I thoroughly enjoy. Um, this is also my realistic series. Um, I'm going to play this game, well, this map as realistically as uh, I can. Um, that might not be overly realistic at all times, but hopefully it is. First thing I'm going to do is sort out the Seasons mod. I have not changed the settings on that yet. We want the Season Day to 6 length. We want Snow Mode on and we want Celsius. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need that. So, here we are. Hill Ridge Farm. Private property, no trespassing. So, I have made some changes to the equipment that we have. Starting over here, we have the Lizard Rumbler van. That's going to be our main transport vehicle because there is not to be any teleporting at all in this series, if at all possible. I don't want to teleport anywhere if I can avoid it. And then here we have the Ford TW35. This is a very good mod. I love this tractor not very modern it's not overly powerful but it just looks absolutely stunning I love this mod very very good mod uh, we have a, another tractor hidden away over here but in here open the doors a little bit more we have the John Deere 7530 this is a more modern tractor a little bit more power to it as well this is also a very good mod indeed. John Deere is an ever popular tractor. Um, so I couldn't really have a series without John Deere. So John Deere's there. It's not going to be our main tractor, but we are going to make use of it. So I have got mods here on this map that are installed, ready to use, um, to make the game a bit more realistic. Um, there's obviously limitations, because at the end of the day, this is still a game. But, here's a look inside the cab of the TW. It is very nice. Very nice indeed. So, I do have periodic flowering enabled. So, first port of call is port of call, should I say. Needs to go and get the plow. Very nice mod indeed. So there's a plow right there. Not sure how this tractor is actually going to handle it, but to be honest, I've not connected to the plow previously. But I will. Um, I'll see how we get on. Just line up a little bit nicer there. So just a touch. We want to attach it. As you see, I do have manual attaching. We want to lift it. Is that going to cause the track to do a wheelie? Just that seems okay. I'm not sure how it will do it in the field. It may cause it to wheelie in the field. Just try and drag it on the ground a little bit here. That it seems perfectly reasonable. Not sure if I can get a front wheel from this tractor. So the game might lag a little bit more than usual with all of the, uh, the mods I do have in stock. So they are really in a little bit. So what I'll do is change to the John Deere. I did want to start with the Ford here, but I do need to plow, so <laughs> I guess uh, we will use our 7530 instead. Let's park the Ford back in the garage here. 
jump over it and uh, open up doors to reveal our lovely John Deere. So as you can see, this is the inside of the John Deere, very nice brown in colour. And it does have interactive control, can take the front mud guards off if we so desire. Given that we're plowing, we'll probably leave them on. Open and close the door, sunroof, etc. It's, uh, it's a very good driver. Just weak it up a little bit. That is a, <coughs> that is a 209 horsepower tractor. Not amazingly powerful, but pretty reasonable. Just connect to the plowman. This does have the ability to open and close the door from the outside, which is very nice. So, as you can see, this tractor is actually handling it worse. I think we need a front weight. We do have one. Where it is, I don't know. Knowing my luck, it'll be somewhere very far away. There it is. Where is it? It is on this farm. Down the very bottom. Well, let's see if we can go and find it. I will uh, come back for the plow. It's not a good start. I thought I could maybe get away with the... Uh, without the front wheel. Is it here anywhere? sure where it is if I'm being completely honest. Where it is right there. We'll just drive it up to where we can connect that. That was a little bit off. That should keep this tractor a bit more stable. Most of the equipment that we have is starter equipment. I only changed the tractors and decided to keep quite a lot of the money left over. And there was four or five tractors I am to start with, which is just unnecessary. So that's much more stable. Not completely stable. Is the plow unfolded? That would probably help. And not opened any of the gates yet, so we'll just open this one and we will head over to uh, the field that we're going to plow as well and open it. Um, I'll plow some of the field myself, but not all of it. I may plow all of it, um, but if I do plow all, um, any kind of quantity to it, I will probably time lapse the footage I need to raise that front weight actually. Change tool selection. I can change driving direction. Does this have left control and B? How, um, Interesting. Okay. Nothing else there I didn't already know about. <coughs> Pardon me. So just <coughs> right. Excuse me. Head off into the field. Unfold the plow. And basically where I am right now, I want to straight away across the field, if possible. Obviously my graphics settings are quite low, so that does leave um, some issues with the likes of furrow placement, etc. But I have 
have spoken to an actual farmer who has assured me that with ploughing you would not do the head ones first. Um, my usual method is to circle the field, which I know isn't exactly realistic, but the head ones would get done last to neaten the field up, if you will. Again, heading in hopefully the same direction I came down in. And do the same thing again. Striping the field, if you will. I have seen this being a method of plowing a field in real life. I'm not saying it's the only way to plow the field, but I have seen this being the way, sort of uh, segmenting the fuel up. I think I've got my spacing a bit off, but uh, it's not the end of the world. There's a learning curve for me. I have to, um, no farm, that is for sure. This is a new series, like, um, I think that this series will be maybe twice a week, because um, I do have the Oakfield Farm series as well, that will be continuing for quite some time, and uh, I don't want too much farming simulator on the channel at any one time. So, same thing again, hopefully I've got the Right, I go here. If not, it's not the end of the world. I'll try to get a right angle there. This is certainly not the right angle, so we a triangle in the field, but <laughs> that's uh, okay. I'll probably time lapse at the bulk of this footage. Um, I've never done a time lapse in any of my videos before. I have done uh, a video that is almost entirely a time lapse, um, but that is a completely different game altogether. So you see other entrances to the field right there. It's sort of just uh, separate the field up a little bit. And there is going to be a slight gap at the end here. Again, I'm not overly concerned about that. I'll get as far to the head as I can. Good bit of wheel spin. So now what I will do is turn the cloud into the corner here and uh, up this side over here. That was not a very straight line, I'm actually looking at that. Getting quite substantial wheel slippage. I did have a mod that told me how much my wheels were spinning, but it doesn't appear to be working. That's okay. So I'm not sure after this point if it's happened, what happens. Uh, I have only seen fuels getting ploughed at the very beginning. I've never actually seen an entire field being ploughed, so I'm not sure how this, uh, what happens next. I've seen fuels being like, segmented, sort of like I've done this one. I don't know what I would do after that. Um, so if you do know, please leave that in the comments so I know it for next time. I would like to make this series as realistic as possible. So I'll do the same again. I'll go down this side and move it away. Be careful not to drive too quickly, otherwise I will end up tipping my tractor. Want to reverse the plow as far 
in the edge of the field as I can. A little bit too far away. It's all about practice. So yeah, I will think actually on this part I will just I will just jump cut this field um, and do a bit of research on how to do a proper time lapse mid video. But um, yeah, I will uh, I will be adding time lapses to my video version soon. But I will see you when the field is done. And welcome back. We have done quite a bit of the field here. And we are going to run out of time on this field for today. That is a bit unfortunate, but we will get as much done as we can. And then we will just, in fact, leave the tractor on the field for the day. Which I think is uh, the best thing to do. Um, given that we uh, do live right there. So I think we are just randomly leaving the tractor somewhere. Um, you know, it will be uh, within sight. In a secure field, if you will. So, as you can see, the lines that I had ploughed in are certainly not even close to being straight to each other. I wanted them to be kind of evenly spaced, straight lines, but I um, probably be doing it with the uh, course pin. I would be the, the right mod for that. I'm not 100% sure whether I actually used that mod, but it would be uh, maybe beneficial. GPS type mod. Uh, I know there was a GPS mod for Farming Simulator 2015. I don't think it came over to 17 though. I may be wrong. If you know if there is one, uh, please leave a link in the uh, comments or if uh, <coughs> if that doesn't work, then uh, just uh, send me a message through the messaging system on YouTube, and uh, I will have a look at it. If there's any mods that you would like me to use, I can do the same there. Just send me a message or um, leave me a comment. Or if you're a mod creator and you'd like me to feature one of your mods then uh, yeah, just uh, let me know and that's something I will be happy to do or if I've used your mod and you would like me to give you a shout out again let me know I have uh, no problem with that whatsoever so it is starting to get dark sun is starting to go down a very beautiful map it would look even better on higher graphics settings, but unfortunately I'm still using my laptop for the time being. Hopefully that will not be the case for very long at all. I do have a much better computer. If you hadn't already heard me speak about it in any of my other videos on my channel, I do have a purpose-built gaming tower that is sitting right next to me right now but it is missing a graphics card so the last part I need to get is a graphics card and uh, I may upgrade the operating system while I have the opportunity to do so before putting it back to work uh, it is a very good computer it was given to me by a friend of mine uh, it's liquid cool, which is always nice. So, uh, we'll get as much of this food done as we can, but when it gets too dark or too late, we will um, call it a night. Let's try heating this bit up. Just ever so slightly. That is it in the end up. I'll try and do a reasonably straight line along here so we can come back the other way. Obviously the furrows do not follow the track there. That is simply down to my graphics presets. I 
have it on relatively low so that the game runs reasonably smooth while recording. And that is Sun um, Sunfall. <laughs> Can't think of the word now. It's uh, sun now. It's, it's gone dark, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you can see the light from the lighthouse there. So we will work a little bit longer. Um, until around 8 o'clock, I think. Or until it becomes too dark to be able to reasonably work. <coughs> we will get a reasonable amount done. Just reverse it back a little bit more. I'm hoping to finish this section here, but uh, we'll see how we get on with that. So we do own that field directly in front of us on the other side of this hedge. We will not be working that one just now. We'll come back to that one at another time. So I'll say I'm not doing the headlands just now. I will go back and do the headlands after I finish this section. I've done the headlands on that small area there. May not be the most realistic thing to do, but um, it seems like the right thing to do for uh, for neatness. And it's sort of like breaking the field up slightly. So I'll just try and come around here a little bit more to take some of this little corner away. And so this will leave us with the two opposite edges of the field to finish. Which it isn't necessarily ideal, but not the end of the world. There's probably a better way to plow a field, um, but like I mentioned, I am certainly no farmer. So we'll just finish off this bit of field here. I'm very close to that telegraph for it. I mean, strictly speaking, not supposed to reverse if he's plowing the ground. I can't imagine it would be good for it. Just a little bit, so don't shout at me too much. So we'll just come along here and then come down this side. So this John Deere is getting some work on it, which is very nice. It's handling the plough perfectly well. It's not a very big plough right enough. It's a 3.3 meter plough, not, not anything spectacular. But the John Deere is handling it beautifully. So we have six days of spring. And we are almost finished day one. Which uh, is okay with me. I think we'll just work a little bit later tonight getting this little section here finished because it seems a little bit wrong to leave it. So hopefully we don't get to our bed too late. We did start the day later than uh, <coughs> we usually would. Once so we had the trip over here in the first place. So usually we go work sunrise to sunset. That's the word I was looking for up in here. seems about right. <coughs> a late night is not necessarily unreasonable in spring, so I've been told. Spring springtime is, as I've been told, the time when you do all your preparation for the year ahead. And uh, it's one of the two busy periods, the other busy period being harvesting. And that one is obvious when you're harvesting a field, you Anyone who has even driven through the countryside during the harvest season will uh, know that farmers do tend to work until ridiculously late hours to finish their fields. 
very, very hard work from different individuals, farmers. So we are about working quite late, but let's uh, flip a little bit too much longer here. Just a couple more short passes on this side. Pull it into the hedge just a touch. And we'll just reverse back and do the same direction again, because this is such a short area. I don't think that's going to quite finish it, but we'll get it very close. We'll just uh, tidy up the headland over here as well. So, I'm not entirely sure the best methodology for doing the headland. Um, my logic is just kind of drag the plow, plow across it. As you can see, there is little bits here and there that are not done. So, I'm not sure if this is the right way that you would do it. on that one at all. Just that little section there. And do the same again here. We should uh, complete this headland anyway. <coughs> the plow is a little bit offset and the bigger plows they tend to follow the tractor a little better. Check that the bottom of the field is okay. As you can see, the ground response is. Oh, missed a bit here. Ground response mod is on. So, this is the view from inside the tractor. Very nice view indeed, in fact. Just lift it here again, there's no need to drag it down the field, it's already been done. I'm not sure if I can turn the uh, lights on any better. No, we don't really get any brighter, but we do turn, it does turn more lights on. So down here it looks pretty reasonable. So what we'll do is we'll bring this track there. I'll we'll just do it one row here on our way up. We're heading up this way anyway, so we we'll just head up this way and park the tractor for the night and head back over to the farm after ready for the next day. Good rest. And uh, continue with the, the next day after that. As you can see with the realistic fuel usage, we have used quite a, a bit of fuel um, in plowing this field, and we only are about two thirds of the way complete this field, if that. Um, but we have used quite a, a reasonable amount of um, of fuel. So the gate is just right there. Park the tractor up in this corner here, like so, and turn all our lights off, turn our engine off, and uh, jump out the tractor. We're going to walk back to the farmhouse uh, using our flashlight, but as you can see, good section of the field done. We'll just close this gate on our way out, just to add a bit of security. We will hear that gate open in the middle of the night. We'll just quickly run back towards the farm. Uh, we will leave these gates open. I think that we 
is okay. Some lighting in the barn there, lighting up the equipment quite nicely. Yeah, it seems we've uh, got some nice lights on at home too. Hopefully the coal fire is on as well. Well, it doesn't look like it. So, that is all for this episode. If you've enjoyed this series, then please leave a like on the video and uh, comment if you would like to say anything to me, any suggestions about mod or anything in this series. And if you do enjoy my content, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.